Okay, we came to Grizz Ferry Lake in central Arkansas, sort of central Arkansas. Doing some fishing. There's a campsite right back up here. We're not camping, we're just fishing. This is a swimming area here next to us. But there's no lifeguard on duty and the water is probably too cold to swim in anyway, so nobody's going in. Right over there. Oh, let's see if I can get it. Closer. That bridge goes across called Goose Island. Keep her. Now look at that. Yeah. He'll eat for sure. Okay. What did he do? Swallow it all the way down? Oh boy. Oh boy. We'll just stay here. Sorry about the shaky camera. It's really windy out here. Anyway, it's a beautiful lake. It's how many acres? 4,000? Oh, probably 4,000. I'll look it up and put it on here. It's a big lake. It's a big man-made lake. Three and a half? Okay, not bad. Okay, that tall mountain down there is what's called Sugarloaf, and there's a marina near it, too. Hey, that drum was the only one we caught. What did you say? It was three pounds? Yeah, about three and a half. Three and a half pounds. He's going to fillet it, and then tomorrow we'll fry it up for uh, fish sandwiches. Fish sandwiches. So that we'll get one meal out of it, and that's better than nothing. Although we drove a long way. <laughs> I mean, there's enough here for probably two two fish sandwiches per side. Per side. So. Okay, well that's not too bad. Yeah. yeah, he's a pretty good size. Here's my hand against him. I don't have very big hands. There, and there's his hand. So it's pretty pretty good size fish. Yuck! Got fish goo on my hand. Okay. That's it. This was t this was caught up at Grizz Ferry. As I said, that's where we were at, Grizz Ferry Lake, um, at one of the campgrounds. And I'll also add some information about the lake down in the description box. The next day following our fishing, this are, these are the fillets from the drum. We're going to prepare them, and I'll, leave, I'll drop the link down below, uh, the recipe we use to prepare these. Anyway, we're going to use them for fish sandwiches for our lunch. Okay, we've got some of the fish in the dry mix, which is flour and, and cornstarch. This <clears throat> is the wet mix, which is uh, flour, flour cornstarch, corn seasoning, seasoning, and just the, uh, seltzer. Uh, seltzer water. The originals on this are usually a beer batter, but they're the one I'm going to share with you calls for sparkling water or seltzer water. We just have any beer. Yeah. And we're heating up the skillet to get ready to fry it. About a uh, hundred degrees to go. Okay. It's it says to heat it to yeah, it goes fast. Three seventy five. Okay. There goes the first piece in. We've done this before and it was really good. Very crunchy, crispy coating. We also want to do like a quarter of the recipe this time because it's a small amount of fish. Right. But it calls for two pounds of fish. Okay, and I'll bring you back when we get them out. 
Okay, there's our delicious looking fish ready to go on a sandwich. Okay, here we go. Fish sandwich, crispy fish, lettuce and cheese with mayonnaise. On what is kind of bread is this called? The artisan, sterile artisan. Or sure. Something. Anyway, there you go. About to have lunch. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe.